State leaders are working on a game plan to reboost tourism in Indiana. That's after a challenging year due to the pandemic. Our Leah Blackburn is following this for us. Leah, how is last year playing a part in future plans? 2020 numbers for Hoosier tourism plan to be released very soon. And despite a very hard year to the industry, leaders say they are taking some things from last year and bringing them into 2021. Now, last year, the state saw a 21% jump in people visiting its parks and properties. Along with that, leaders say research shows more people want to get out and drive to destinations. They say those stats are an advantage to the Hoosier state. That's as Indiana has a lot to offer through its scenic parks and convenient locations. What I really love about Indiana, we are top of, topographically very different. I mean, so if you go into southern Indiana and you have the rolling hills and, and the forest and the green and everything and the trails and there's lots of things to do in southern Indiana, the caves. So there's lots of wonderful differences there. You can move north and you're going to see a little bit flatter terrain, but still some great opportunities there. Earlier this year, the Indiana Destination Development Corporation launched its State Nature Passport and encourages visiting state parks and properties for prizes. And so far, it's already been used by 11,000 people. And to encourage more drive-in visitors, IDDC is planning road trips. The online feature lets you pick a route, cater to your interests, with tailored stops to historic and popular sites in the state. Now, all of these features are free to download online, and we have the links right now over at Fox59.com. In the newsroom, Aaliyah Blackburn, Fox 59 News. Aaliyah, thank you.